Where can I fly my unmanned aerial vehicle? All those drones that are getting more and more popular. Anyone can buy one of these. There's no training, no license required is illegal. My name is Christopher Morrison. I own a company in Chicago, Robo Aerial. You know, we're a one-stop drone shop. Our operation, in the FAA's eyes, it is a legal operation. It's a speakeasy of the air. But we're trying to do everything that we can to mitigate risks at all costs. We're gonna go out around the city of Chicago and we're gonna fly one of our unmanned aerial vehicles. I've been kicked out of the park district two times now, but not here. We don't want to be, we don't want to cause a scene, you know? We don't want a bunch of people around here watching us. Powering up copter. Although we have a monitor here so we can see what we're doing for aerial photography and videography, we always keep the aircraft in our visual line of sight. So that way we can yield to other aircraft because other aircraft always have the right of way. We always wanna fly not over buildings, not over people, and not over populated built up areas. That's one reason why we like to fly over water. We're not out spying on people. We're not out you know, doing anything. We're not terrorists. We're just you know, artists. I feel like we're getting kind of overexposed. I want to come down and land. Here he comes. Okay, here comes the park district, guys. Get ready. I talk about myself as a drone cowboy in regards to not complying with the FAA's 333 exemption process right away. As of 2016, all commercial use of unmanned aerial vehicles is banned. Section 333 of the Modernization and Reform Act of 2012 allows pilots to apply for an exemption to the usual aircraft regulations. The overarching view that the FAA would take on this issue is are you operating as a modeler, a hobbyist there, or are you operating as a commercial entity? If you're doing it so that you can use this footage to sell your services at some later point, or if you're using it to gain experience for your employees, then you're behaving as a commercial actor in the eyes of the FAA. That would be an unlawful flight. So my business, we've just tried to understand uh, the insurance, the safety, the aviation law, all of those are the elements the FAA is looking for, but you don't have the license, you don't have the exemption. It's not really even a gray area in the law. You are operating outside of the law. And what the Flight Safety Office for the FAA would say is you're doing an admirable job. Tell it to the judge. Here's your fine. Here's your $10,000 citation. If you do it again, we'll see you in court. Since commercial flight was born at the turn of the last century, regulation has struggled to keep pace with technological changes. In 1958, the FAA was created to mediate between the air and the businesses in it. Since the 1990s, a key issue has been the drone boom. Chappie Perker is kind of the iconic progenitor of the commercial drone photographer. He is a, a journalist and an artist uh, and an advertising guy. And he went out uh, in 2011 and he buzzed the University of Virginia grounds uh, taking pictures. And he did everything much like the case you just made. He did everything with what he thought was within existing bounds of, of safety and decency. He notified the people in charge of security at the University of Virginia. He notified the local airport, which is some distance away. The FAA fined him anyway because at the time then, and it's been upheld in court now, it requires a Section 333 to conduct that activity from the FAA. I'm trying to be an early adapter of the technology so we know what's going on from the beginning and we can be in on the ground floor as the industry and the technology takes off. One day I got an email saying, Christopher, the Park District is proposing to require a permit. We have 8,000 acres, 580 parks. It's like one of the only places where I can see that, you know, you can find wide open areas and fly a system safely in a city environment. I raced down to the meeting right away and 
Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. My name is Christopher Morrison. We understand the concerns of safety and privacy, but believe the majority of UAV pilots operate for recreational purposes and not for malicious surveillance. We have things like dog beaches. Why can't we have drone beaches? Instead of shutting down a growing and innovative industry, put Chicago in the news by being the first major city to support this industry and allow safe places for its use. The Chicago Park District voted to table the discussion, but two months later, the City Council proposed a new ordinance limiting non-commercial operators to under 400 feet and banning flight over people, private property, schools, hospitals, and places of business. You better believe that the, the state is very nervous that citizens will have access to aerial surveillance. It democratizes the technology. I think, for instance, let's bring it right now with all of the conflicts between African Americans and police, the Black Lives Matters movement. Right now, the way something like what happened in Baltimore is policed is they basically just cordon off the area and do what they want. And they're the only witnesses. And they have a helicopter up in the air and an FBI plane up in the air that has top sight and knows exactly what's going on. If I had one of my fleet and I lived in Baltimore and I was one of those people in one of those neighborhoods, and yeah, I would take my drone right up there and be part of it. And you wouldn't care a lot about what the about law what says. law says. Because I might get arrested anyways for looting the CVS next door. Exactly. So. Imagine if we could get an eye in the sky up there and see how they're laid out and what they're doing. See where their people are deployed. Those are the kinds of things that uh, this kind of technology could be very helpful. All business and hobby drones above 250 grams now need to be registered with the FAA. Keep the aircraft in sight, know where to land, and don't fly over people. Smartphones revolutionize citizen access to cameras. Drones could do the same for aerial surveillance. 